I went to the boot sale and I picked up a 12 inch remote controlled Dalek. So I decided to take him apart, paint him and put him back together again. <laughs> Okay, so I've bitten the bullet and I've glued half of the center core onto the skirt section. Same with that one. So uh, there are still screws that can hold these together. I can't get to the bottom screws now, but they're glued. So when I pop that together like that, uh, then I've got to paint it and then obviously put the, uh, the Hemis back in. Up here in the Attic of Achievement, I went into my bag of bits and bobs and I found one of these head-mounted uh, LED lights. And I'm going to use the side cap here for the suction cup. So I've already drilled a hole in it and sanded off some of the writing. And I'm going to pop that on the end of this stick which came from the exterminator. Let's put that lamp there. Now it's probably a little on the large side, but I don't mind that. And then that will pop onto there, like so. And I'm going to keep searching for other little greeblies. I may even use these for the headlights. It's not bad. Um, one thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this silver thing from the exterminator because it's bendy. And as a result, we've got a bendy, see? It's not very straight. Um, I'm going to go find a piece of plastic rod, replace with, then assemble the whole thing. Okay, 56 rings stuck onto a piece of board using double-sided sticky tape. So, I found my satin black, and I give these a blast of satin black. And 56. I've used the little tabs to stick into the corrugated cardboard apart from the, uh, the button which is stuck on double-sided tape. Alrighty, so, they're all sat in black and the Hemis have had a coat of mid blue which actually looks quite dark but I'm still not convinced they're 100% covered focus damn you um, I'm gonna give them one more coat while, uh, while they're all mounted I may as well I want them to look nice and shiny okay so today you'll see the silver bits there um, I was gonna use wire mesh and then I thought, why don't I find something that looks similar? See? So, I got this piece of an old uh, paper, you know, like a folder, like a plastic folder thing. So I've just been cutting the pieces out. So it's almost all done. It didn't take long. Uh, I've done the, uh, the back corners. I've just got to do the side pieces now. They're the gaps where these corners go in. Once these are on, they're on. Um, my choice is to put screws in, but then you still have to glue these on anyway. So I may treat it like a model kit and glue the whole dang thing together because I really want to get all this painted. Uh, yeah, the other thing I've done is on the eye mount, I've taken out the little, where is it? The little circular mount thing because when it's in place, it wasn't central. Can you see that? It wasn't very central. Um, so I'm going to fill this entire mount with some milliput. And before the milliput goes off, I'm going to poke the eye stalk in so it's dead central and let it go off. And then we'll have a proper centralized hole, which will make life a lot easier. So then I can get the head on. But now I'm going to see if I can just finish putting the silver stuff uh, there and on the other side and then I'm going to give the bottoms, the shoulders, the neck piece and these back pieces a good old spray of silver. Well, it's not glued together yet but it's had a, coat, a couple of coats of paint. Um, I probably went a little bit too crazy because you can see at the top of that panel it's a little bit runny going on and as we get to the bottom there's a chip there's a hole um i don't know what to do about that problem is if i were to sand some of the silver paint away and fill it with filler and re-sand it and everything all the times i touch this silver paint with my fingers will 
be horrible. Um, I may have to give this a coat of lacquer, but what I learned from the Cyberman helmet I did, picture coming up, is that once the lacquer goes on this very shiny silver, it turns the silver into a horrible dull grey. Um, so do I stick with silver and imperfections or do I go with dull grey yet protected by lacquer? We'll find out today. So having painted these outside, um, I'm growing increasingly dissatisfied with them. Look how patchy all that is. And you can see the, um, the marks where the rivets once were and the scuffs and the dodgy paint and everything. Now the one answer, mind you, the, the rivets around the, uh, the arms look gone. Um, anyway, wow, look at that. Is that a full rivet on there? No, it's just showing up in the light. Um, the little bits of uh, silver I put in worked out well. I'm growing increasingly dissatisfied with how much of a cowboy I am. Um, but now I'm at the point where I don't really give a good damn because this meant to be just a quick repaint and it's turned into a, a bit of a DIY job. So I'm going to slap it together. I'm going to decide whether it needs dirty weathering, which I don't think it should do. I, you know, Daleks are usually pristine, usually. And um, I've got just enough paint, I think, to finish painting the eye stalk and the uh, plunger. I don't even have a gun for it yet. But uh, I think that will be enough. That will be enough for now. So let's talk Dalek headlights. I've got lots of these, or I did have lots of these plastic cap things we used in the off-world set mainly, and all sorts of other things. So I thought, why don't we chop the top of one off, which leaves a hole there, but then I make that hole big enough to fit the cap in there. So it's nice and tight now, so it's got a, 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 whoops, it's got a cap to it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I've done that with my handy dandy scalpel with a brand new blade. Uh, you can't see it, but uh, yeah, I've uh, <laughs> I cut my finger. Uh, so when using scalpels, kids, remember, they flipping hurt. Okay, I've bit the bullet, bitten the bullet, and I've decided, it still looks wet there, I've decided to give the silver on the skirt a coat of clear lacquer. Um, but this is what I was talking about. Look at the difference between unlacquered and lacquered. You see the difference? All the mirror shine has gone off the silver and it's made it into a kind of stainless steel. So yeah, I'm gonna bite the bullet. I think that's probably a bit too shiny anyway. I'm gonna bite the bullet. Go for this uh, lacquered version, which will protect it against fingerprints a bit better. And I'm going to paint the uh, the plastic bits I've put in there that look like mesh. I think I'm going to paint them black. After I've lacquered it, obviously. Also, been uh, gluing all the um, hemis together. I've done loads, as you can see, and I've still got loads to do. So let's get on with those. Oh, by the way. Uh, head looks good now. I'm gonna stick some lacquer on that too. Alrighty, this is the uh, the home stretch. I've glued the two bits together and I've actually screwed it the base back on. So that's good, isn't it? Um, now I had a little bit of a dilemma as to what to do with the head. Now if I had put this in here and then glued it together, you can't get the neck on because that's a solid piece. But if you put the neck on, you can't pull it apart to get this in. So, there was a ring around here that I've actually cut off, a secondary ring. So now there's just the one ring. Um, and I've sanded all the edges, so now it will fit in here and turn. But just to raise it up a tiny bit, what I've done Cut myself a sort of plastic washer out of some plastic, which is going to glue on there to raise it up a little bit. And I've also, you can see the uh, 
see these bits here I've, I've cut them down a little bit away from the top of the thing because they were catching i think they were catching on the the eyepiece here i think that was catching the uh, the very top of these these little ridges which locate See, locate down in the the slots here, so that so it will swap down. So that's going to pop on like that. This head's not even going to be fixed. I'm going to I'm going to leave it once it's on properly. There we go. I'm going to leave it like that, so you can take it off. It will pop off on and off. That slides on there, like there. That slides on like there. Um, I'll probably have to glue this in place, make sure it's dead centre. But other than that, he's kind of getting there, isn't he? Um, that is a bit wobbly. We need to fix the wobble. It's also a bit high. Damn it. You live and learn. Hang on. Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> This ain't working. Oh, that ain't working. Well, that's not bad. It's still a bit wobbly. I need to fix the wobble. But other than that, I'm quite happy with it. Does it need more black? I was going to do black around there, wasn't I? But I don't think I will now. Um, not bad. Um, I'm working on the exterminator, so I'm thinking I'm going to use this piece of biro drill a load of holes top and bottom all the way around and put some wires in either that or I'll find something else um, obviously I've got to put the, uh, the the plunger and the eyepiece in and then paint the eyepiece but these worked out well wasn't sure about the blue dome thinking maybe I should have gone black but it kind of accessorizes nicely yeah that's not bad So that circle didn't work. So I thought maybe I could cut an entire disc of plastic and mount it on there to give it a base to spin on, but it was still wobbling. Turns out all I needed was three pieces to sit on this little ridge that goes around. And now when I, when I pop it on, goodness sake, there we go. It don't wobble no more. And it's the right height, pretty much. So uh, it's quite smooth because of the plastic. So I'm going to live with that. Like I say, it come, does come off. And so far, I haven't glued all this together, but it's sitting quite tightly. So I might just leave that. Okay, so we're getting to the um, the final stages. Uh, let's have a quick look here. I've been repainting the um, the silver on the um, the plunger and another coat of satin black to the plunger itself. Um, the eye stalk is up here. Um, I'm going to paint the orange bit blue, I think, if I can. Um, now with the exterminator, I've decided to try and go ahead with the. Uh, the piece of biro that I've drilled the holes into and putting the little pieces of aluminium wire all the way around. I can only manage six instead of eight, but I think if I can do it, it'll look semi-decent. I'm not going to bother painting any of this. I'll leave it completely silver. I'll put something in the end, like another piece of uh, smallish tube like I did with the extermin the plunger, just so it fits into the ball. Um, and I have to super glue the ends of that uh, of each piece of wire that goes in. And uh, hopefully they'll stay in. The super glue may put white haze residue, whatever, all over the uh, the clear tube, but I don't care. Uh, repainted the stick uh, for the eye, made it a little shorter so it fits in. I've just got to tart up the black around the uh, the main part, and I've got to paint the orange bit light blue. Uh, but uh, it's looking nicely. The uh, the the gun stick has had, a, sorry, the plunger has had a couple more paints, coats of paint, silver and black. And I've got the exterminator to go. There it is. Uh, I need to find a way to connect that to the ball and then 
pop him in there, sorry, like that. But also being Sunday, I had a, a bit of a haul at the car boot sale. Two very good films, Fierce Creatures with John Cleese, Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, Michael Palin and uh, Kevin Klein. Uh, Terminal, Simon Pegg and Margot Robbie, another great film. And uh, this was not a car boot sale. This was uh, from Amazon. It's the Reaction Figures Super 7 Vincent from my current obsession, The Black Hole, the Disney film. Uh, this is slightly bigger than the Mego one, but slightly smaller than the Diamond Select one, which you can't get hold of for love nor money. They're too expensive. But you can't you can't get hold of Bob either. Um, Maximilian is about 20 quid, and he's about 20 quid. So I don't know if I'm going to take him out of the box. I probably will, to be honest. I'm not one of these purists. But back to the car boot sale. <laughs> I bought a skeleton. These are the arms and legs and head that have got spikes in them that you put them in the garden so it looks like you've got a skeleton coming out of your grass but i needed the uh, the hands and feet really um for my sarcophagus for the for the film because uh, i bought these hands and the hands are a bit small well they're not much bigger to be honest but uh they look better the feet are better so i'm going to connect these to the skeleton upstairs i'll say i'll keep him for something else and um yeah and i really needed a usb to square usb cable for my vacuum cleaner because it's a chargeable one and i found one for two quid so a very fruitful day and like i say the dalek is nearly finished so the last bit of uh, consternation for me was how to fix the exterminator to the ball the swivel ball so what i did was drill out that took the uh, the original exterminator off so i thought right what i'll do i'll either use a piece of wooden pencil piece of sprue a uh, piece of biro tube biro cap uh, more sprue bit of brass tubing there uh, in the end i used a piece of this um, paintbrush see i cut it off there and i used my dremel to make a little little peg see a little peg there like a little simon peg um, it's not focusing very well. Come on. Goodness me. Never mind. There you go. So um, I tried that. And while I was doing that, the Dremel gave me an idea. My Dremel, from the range, uh, not the real Dremel, comes with all these spare brass uh, grommets, and or what do you call them? Chucks or whatever. And so I decided to use one which one did I use? I think it was this one. And see if it would fit into the ball. And lo and behold, it does. It fits really well. So if I can just put that there. So pop that in there. Nice and tight. Because the chuck has these little um, little slots down the side. So that the, the top bits can actually compress a little bit. So I'll straighten that out. There we go. So that goes in there really nice. And I did have a, a real pain uh, dremeling away all the aluminium rods because you see one end looked like that, which wasn't great. And uh, so this side, I, I got the old um, one of these sort of uh, metalwork uh, sanding stones jammed it down the end a few times till it got very very hot to hold and it now fits in a there so uh yeah if i can put that together with one hand all right it is a little bit of a tight fit which is great that's exactly how i want it. look at that all right the end is not great but and I get some super glue in that, and we are done. We are done, kids. Ah, the process, man. Respect the process. <sighs> right. So we have a exterminator. Pop that off. Uh, now these go in here. Like a soul. 
yay and then um, the piece that holds the, the bits on goes on here and I can see if I can screw a driver that on going in is this one working I don't even know if this is going around I think the screwdriver's on the way out it's not going around the big one fit ah yes that's a little bit better oh, I got a feeling I've got a feeling the hole is threaded so while this one is fine the other one I think has had it yeah that's tight and so is that as it should be but this one is pretty loosey-goosey who came up with Lucy Goosey? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Is that tightening up? I can't tell. Is the screw actually even... It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Damn it. Oh, damn it. What? Where is it? Oh, I never get a spaceship. Never. I never oh. get anything. So near the end as well. Are you... Nope. So I've got to take this one back out. Okay, drop the glue in there. Okay. Sorry, can you see what I'm doing? Lovely, right. These two are rods, by the way. Go into the holes here, where you would uh, screw the whole thing together, but I don't think I'm gonna screw them together. I'm gonna leave it loosely assembled. If I ever need to re-tighten the uh, the guns and stuff I can leave it like that it's fine yes indeed uh, I haven't even painted this this is just the washer that I glued on I sanded it and it looks all right I can see some patches there there's some patches on the paint which I think I need to get some gloss in there and a bit more silver around the exterminator where the the rivets were they're still black I need to paint them I'm not gonna do anything with the gun really Unless I find a nice piece to go on the end, but I don't think I will. Other than that, I'm calling him finished. Um, I may do, like I say, some little touch-ups of paint. That's got to be light blue. I'm going to mix up some light blue for that. Ooh, why is his head wobbling? He's okay. I think he's done. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, this is not going to swivel around very much, or at all. But... Um, he's now a, f a full Dalek as opposed to what he looked like when I bought him and he's in an interesting quite nice scheme with minimal modification a new suction cup and a gun I'm quite proud of that it's a bit it's a bit you know it's a little bit messy in places but it worked out pretty well yeah I'm calling him done that's another project out of the way do I display him? Do I put him up for sale? Answers on a postcard. Anyway, so that's it. Um, basically, just over a week to mess about with this guy. Quickly run down through all the bits. First thing I did, took off all the rivets as best I can, pulled the whole thing apart, completely removed the internals. Uh, so now I've just left the wheels on so it can roll around. Um, took all the... Uh, Hemi's off, repainted the entire thing, repainted all these separately, glued them all back on. Um, had to make a complete suction cup from scratch using a bit of plastic from a head lamp and uh, a biro and a piece of wood. And likewise for the uh, eye stalk, piece of um, wooden dowel from a uh, paintbrush, uh, a wooden bead which was a kind of honeycomb shape which i thought would work quite nice rather than discs which i still want to paint light blue um the eye store the eyeball itself is a wooden ball with a 
the washer glued on the end I sanded down the flat area at the front I lights made of I think they're kind of like syringe caps basically uh, to cut them off and shorten them but they fit on perfectly repainted everything uh, had to do some modifications to the inside to allow the head to go back on and turn rather nicely uh, all the gaps in between the slats are glued in with them um, I've put in some textured plastic and painted them all black and that's about it um, I'm pretty happy with it um, there's a couple of things that um, I'm gonna go through the fi fault finding process now um, usually down to my being a bit of a cowboy first thing uh, I wish I had a different color silver paint because I use the chrome silver, which you'll see in the videos. Once you give it a coat of lacquer, it turns into a shiny gray rather than a silver. Um, so I should have used a different type of silver that you can lacquer and stay, st stay silver. Um, there's a little bit of gold showing through here where I must have missed it. I still see a bit of gold. Um, I didn't take off the, um, the rivets too well in some places. I cut them off with a scalpel. But there you can still see scratches and marks where they where they are or where they should should have been so I'm not too in love with that um, the black paint inside here should have been done with a matte black in fact I've got a matte black and it didn't seem to be very matte um, but other than that uh, I'm reasonably happy with it I've got a little bit of touching up to do I'd say with some silver and some black um, but considering he was you know falling apart and that uh, you know and missing so many pieces I'm not too I'm not too displeased with him it's nice to have a decent sized Dalek and uh, like I say he doesn't he's not remote controlled anymore he doesn't turn his uh, doesn't work or roll forward or any have any lights or anything on him but I don't really mind because how often do you use these things anyway uh, yeah so there you go again not an expert um, just a hobbyist and a, a bit of a Dalek fan so uh, yeah if I ever find another 12 inch Dalek I just thought I might be able to cut him off about here and stick an action man in and make myself a custom Davros it might be an idea and it would be a custom Davros so there's no way I'm gonna get screen accurate still there he is and uh, now back to uh, skeleton and other stuff this is the uh, the lap of honor so you can see just an idea of what he's like Anyway, that's it for me for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed these last two weeks of Dalek modification. Uh, I will see you uh, hopefully next week, if not on a Tuesday. And um, we'll take it from there. Take care now. Bye bye then.